these are the men and women who, you know, put their lives on the line every day for us. Tonight, the community, especially our men and women in blue, are saying goodbye to one of their own. Officer Miguel Moreno killed in the line of duty last week. His visitation is happening tonight, a day before he is laid to rest. Eyewitness News reporter Andrea Martinez is live at Community Bible Church, where tomorrow's funeral will be held. Andrea. That's right. Hundreds attended Officer Moreno's visitation today. But before that, Chief William McManus addressed the media today and voiced his very strong opinions about recent tragedies involving police. Take a listen. I don't know. I don't know what has gotten into people who think that they can go out and shoot the police. I don't understand why people think it's OK to advocate for that, condone that celebrate it doesn't make any sense to me. It's a, it's a warped way of thinking. Chief McManus addressing the recent tragedies which have plagued not only our community, but communities across the country. There is a small number of people, not only here, but around the country, that think it's okay to berate police, to badger police, to insult police, and it's not okay. I'm here to tell you today, it's not okay. Officer Miguel Moreno, the latest victim of a senseless attack against police. Now family, friends and colleagues honored his memory at Porter Loring. Even people in the community came by to honor a hero. And while they may be total strangers to Officer Moreno and his family, they are certainly no stranger to recognizing the sacrifice these officers make every day. Like the loss of a brother, a family member because uh, police departments are an extended family. Ray Leal is a veteran. He says the terrible loss is something our community has had to experience too frequently. We have uh, too many people running around in America now indiscriminately shooting police. And, uh, that's just not the way it's supposed to be. Uh, these, are, these are the men and women who, you know, put their lives on the line every day for us. And a procession for Moreno will start or depart from the Alamo Dome tomorrow starting at 8 a.m. Lines and lines of vehicles will then head right here to Community Bible Church for the funeral, which is open to the public. Reporting live, Andrea Martinez, KINS 5 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Andrea. And we will bring you live coverage of Officer Moreno's funeral from Community Bible Church starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. And you can watch it on air and online and on our Facebook page at KENS 5. And SAPD will get a hand from Dallas police tomorrow so that local officers can attend Officer Moreno's funeral. We're all brothers and sisters, big family, tight-knit family. And uh, it's the, the thin blue line, like they say, it's, it's, it's real. Officer DeMarcus Turner is just one of several officers in town tonight. He said the decision to come down was easy. SAPD was there for them when five Dallas police officers were killed in an ambush just last year. Tomorrow is the one year anniversary of that attack. Governor Greg Abbott is asking all law enforcement across Texas to turn their blue lights on tomorrow to remember the fallen. A local artist is paying tribute to fallen officer Miguel Moreno. Take a look. He went to the same school that I went to and I suppose grew up in the same neighborhood that I did. I just felt a really deep connection. Alfonso Garcia created that portrait of Officer Moreno, complete with the police department's badge and logo. Garcia is a graduate, as you heard, of Lanier High School, which is also Moreno's alma mater. You can watch this entire video on our Kins5.com. Page. And uh, earlier today, we here at Kins 5 teamed up with the 100 Club, the San Antonio 100 Club, to help raise money for fallen and injured SAPD officers and their families. And tonight, we can tell you that a phone bank raised $31,885 just today. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. It means so much. While every effort helps, the biggest single fundraiser of the year for the 100 Club is coming up this weekend. It's a well-loved San Antonio tradition, a big, delicious spaghetti dinner. And Eyewitness News reporter Sue Kalberg found out the cooking has already started on what they hope will be their best year ever. They're measuring my poor half and frying. We have 100 pounds of onions. And cooking up success at the Christopher Columbus Hall, getting ready for overflow crowds both Saturday and Sunday. The ribs are uh, pan fried. Friday, they'll be rolling about 15,000 meatballs. Is that a secret recipe? It is. Last year, we served a little over 6,000 plates 
This year, our goal is 7,000. How much pasta? Let's figure it out. One, two, three, four times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And guess what? The other half of the pile, this is only half of it, is downstairs. There are piles of pasta, an ocean of drinks, buckets of spices, and mounds of vegetables. All of it for the families of first responders cut down in the line of duty. It's been a tragic uh, year for first responders in San Antonio. And they say you're invited to help them live up to the 100 Club motto, hope out of tragedy. Great cause, great fun, meet great people. Which anybody can become a member. All you have to do is go to the website. At Kens5.com, you'll find a link. Sue Calbert, Kens5 Eyewitness News.